seven wicked things women do to their husband or partner. Number one is starving them of sex. Come on, this man paid for this thing now. Give it to him. You want him to plead. You want him to buy gifts before you can offer it to him. Why, then why are you married to him? This is wrong. Number two is abusing them of their condition. It can be health condition. It can be, you know, financial condition. This man never knew things is going to turn up like that. You continue abusing him. Look at you, common business, you cannot manage. Look at your mates, doing well. This person, this person, is it not your mate? Look at you, you are here sick, you are suffering me. You know, you can't do anything. I'm the one doing this. You are abusing him. This man can commit what is called suicide. Please, calm down a little. And be a little kind to him. Number three is stealing. Stealing from your husband. Some women will say, it's our money. It's my husband's money. You go to your husband's working place, you know, business place. He go out, you go to where he, he, he keeps money, you take money without letting him know, without taking, telling him. You are bringing his business down. You are bringing his business down. So many uh, men take a goods in credit. You go there because you see a lot of money, you don't know that it's people's money. You pack it, you are bringing him down financially. He come home, he remove his clothes, you go to his pocket, or his wallet, you take money without telling him. It's stealing, it's not our money, it's not our, our money. The, before you tell him, before you take it, tell him, let him know, let him be aware. In that way, you are not stealing his money. Number four is demanding too much. Demanding more than the man can afford. You know, this man cannot afford certain things and you are demanding for it. With with all, you know, seriousness, you must get it. You must give it to me. Is it not your maid that is getting it for their, you know, while for their uh, partner, you must get it for me. This is wickedness. Knowing fully well that this man cannot, or cannot afford it is wickedness. Number five is cheating. Do not cheat on a man. Because it brings that man down, spiritually and physically. If you don't know it, know it today. It's a wicked act for you to be with a man and you are cheating with that person. You saw other men, but you choose to marry him. So, be faithful to him. Numbers is praying for a man to die. Oh, come on. Why now? See, I know at times we can be very angry. We can be, you know, a man can offend us, you know, so much that... We are pushed to, you know, say all manner of things. Please do not pray for a man to die or a man, you know, for any uh, bad thing to happen to that person. It's unfair. Uh -uh now. Please, fear God. No drama again. It's okay. Number seven is turning a man's children against him. Oh, this is the worst you can do. This is, this is, as in this is the limit you can go. Do not turn a man's, you know, child or children against him. Do not, even though you both are not together again, even though he did bad, you know, against you, just is left for that child to make his or her own decision. Do not decide. Do not, you know, talk bad about his his father in his, in his, in his presence or in her presence. This is not good. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.